to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Alrighty guys, we are getting ready to get out of here. Yeah, that's it. We're still at the rest area. The sun is starting to come up and I see a lake over there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but uh, I certainly do see a lake over there. Yeah, I guess that's the uh, gas lake that they was talking about. But anyways, let's get out of here and have ourselves a fantastic day. Thanks for uh, joining uh, my channel today and coming right along with us and that's have ourself a fantastic day well hey there we stopped at a walmart as you can see we're gonna do a little bit of shopping yeah probably we got a subway over there too we'll probably go into the subway and get a bite to eat as well you know so anyways we'll go do a little shopping Alrighty, guys we are just leaving tea forever falls minnesota yeah this is where I used to go, not exactly here, but uh, on the other side of town there is a uh, place uh, where we pick up Articat machines. Uh, all the uh, four-wheelers and snowmobiles made by Articat. That's where we picked them up when I used to work for Big Freight. Yeah, and I just uh, coming through here at uh, US 59 and right there is a Walmart there. so. Figured I go in there and stop a little bit and do a little shopping. I need to do an oil change on the truck and uh, I go always with the uh, synthetic oil with the 5W40. That's the oil that I uh, drive in my truck. And uh, it's a lot cheaper up here in the States than it is in Canada. Or for the matter of fact, even if you uh, want to buy it at a truck stop it's a lot cheaper here up here I think it's like uh, oops, I better be in the left lane here it's right lane exits <laughs> I was gonna say in uh, <coughs> here in uh, Walmart you can get it like for $21.74 a gallon and they do now have uh, two and a half gallon drums so no we can get two and a half gallon uh, buckets of oil and those ones are going for like 53 and, uh, and change I don't know exact number but uh, anyways that's what they are going for and I usually need 10 gallons or a little over 10 gallons so I bought me 12 and a half gallons of oil bought me five of them uh, two and a half gallon drums so now we have enough oil to uh, do an oil change and then uh, have a little bit left so I can uh, add a little bit if I need to down the road somewhere you know and so we're good to go and then uh, I always buy this uh, all-in-one uh, floor hardwood floor polishing material for my wife so I went and bought that for the wife yeah now we're good to go. And uh, the reason why I don't have picture in picture on my uh, screen right now is because uh, my other camera's battery is dead, so we gotta charge it before we can uh, do picture in picture again, you know. I think right here by this Ford sign, just before this Ford sign, I think I gotta make a left up here. I think right by this street that's coming up here to the left. Yeah, that's where we used to go down. We used to go pick up Articat machines up there. I remember that. Yeah, no, not this road here. I think it's this next one here. Yeah, this, uh, not the uh, gravel road there, this one here. This is the one. Yeah. Uh, that's what I remember going down there and picking up snow machines for Big Freight and then having to deliver them all over the place. It's kind of cool. Uh, I can see the trailers all over there. Yeah. And then we 
we gotta make a left here pretty soon. I know this area very well. I haven't been here in a couple of years though, but uh, I certainly remember it. Certainly do. Not much has changed as far as I can see. <laughs> we got a little bit of a gas station there at the corner where I gotta turn off from where I remember. Yeah, I can see it there already. Yeah, we got 170 miles to go to Winnipeg. We'll deliver our load and uh, Winnipeg got just, well, not deliver, just drop it at the yard. Speed warning. feet slide right on US 59 and then slide right in 400 feet all right so this is where we got to make our right hand turn yeah that's where we have that little truck stop right there it used to be there years ago in 300 already when feet slide right on US 59 It got pretty cold here this morning. When I was driving, it went as low as minus six degrees, which is already in the twenties with uh, Fahrenheit. Excuse me. Oh man. It's a good day to be out here on the road though. Nice day to be cruising, nice sunshine. Yesterday it was cloudy pretty much all day, but today we got nice sunshine and hardly any wind at all. We are back in business. At least that's what I would like to say. <laughs> yep. So let's put the hammer down and uh, make our way down to uh, Winnipeg. Alrighty guys, we are cruising along US 75 now. Yeah. We got about 107 miles to go to Winnipeg. Speed warning. Shut up, RJ. There was a 40 speed limit up there already, and you're saying it's still 30 speed limit. That's incorrect. Anyways, I'm a little bit pissed off at the Walmart. But at the same time, I understand we all make mistakes. <laughs> and what I'm talking about is... Uh, when I purchased that oil, right? I bought it separately from the other product. And uh, I was just looking at the receipt uh, because I got to uh, tell the border, right? How much I purchased for, you know? And uh, I discovered that they uh, charged me for six of them uh, buckets of oil. I only got five. I only bought five, but they charged me for six. So I'm a little pissed off at that, you know. Those are expensive. They're $53.18 a pop, you know. That's uh, crazy. So I'm going to have to see what we can do with it. I already called them and they said I can go into any other Walmart and say that they overcharge me there or whatever. And they'll reimburse me, but I don't know. I don't quite believe that, but we'll see what happens. That's that's a lot of money, you know, 53 bucks, you know, that they just pocketed, you know. But, that's the way it goes, sometimes you lose money. Anyways, we're cruising along, enjoying our day. Should be coming up to the border here pretty soon. Probably in the next half hour I should probably be at the border. 
least I would think so. Here we go, guys. We are back in Manitoba. Yeah. It is Saturday afternoon. It is officially afternoon. It's three minutes after 12 o'clock. Here we go. Scale is locked up today. That's always a bonus. That way I don't need to waste the time and uh, go in there yet. Well, I guess from their perspective, they wouldn't be wasting time. Because they try and keep the truck safer on the road, you know, keep the bad trucks out of the road, off the road. But for me, I know I keep my truck in good shape and uh, for me it would be considered time wasted, but uh, anyways, we should be in uh, Winnipeg in about an hour and a half. We'll drop this trailer. Man, you know right away when you are in Canada, blah, 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 blah. everything is just going crazy. The roads are rough up there. Yeah. So let's put the hammer down towards Winnipeg and uh, we'll see what else we'll be able to show you. Just finished doing my trailer drop here in Winnipeg. And I sent a message asking them if they got a trailer that they want me to bring to the yard in Steinbach. And they said, yep. Find a good empty. If you can find a good empty, bring it to Steinbach. So, we looked around and we found one that's just almost brand spanking new trailer. Yeah, at least a good serious trailer anyways. This is always a tight, tight, tight corner to make. Especially with a 53 foot trailer, so I kind of have to cut into the other lane in order to make my turn. But, so we picked up our trailer and uh, we're gonna make our way home now. Oh, look at that, another penner up here. Going to the yard. Yeah. Let's see. Should be able to make our turn here pretty soon. There's no sign saying that we can't make a right hand turn if that's red, right? So, oh, there we go. We should get the green light here right away. There we go. Told you guys it's a little tight to get around this corner. Yeah, there we go. We made it. Now we're going to put the hammer down to go home. Yeah. So, you want to guess what we got planned for tonight? Well, I guess your guess is just as good as mine. We're gonna have barbecue tonight. <laughs> did you guess that? I bet you did. Unless you're new to my channel and you don't know nothing about me, then maybe you didn't know, but... If you've been around my channel for a while, you know we might... We make barbecues on a regular basis, right? That's right. So, let's go home. Finish our paperwork. Go home, take a shower. Get ready for barbecue. Well guys, what did I tell you? We are at home. We got the fire going and uh, looks like our visitors are just about to get to our place. So we will have a nice barbecue here pretty soon. Yeah, I think so. Alrighty guys, we had ourselves a fantastic evening with our friends. Oh yeah. It was a new set of friends that we invited. We had never invited before, so... Figured, eh, leave the camera out of it, you know. I wasn't going to show you the barbecue. Because I figured, you know what? You guys seen a lot of bar my barbecue videos already, so why show it again, right? I know Steve from Minneapolis, he's getting really hungry. <laughs> yep. <Yeah. laughs> but that's okay. Maybe next time we'll uh, show a barbecue video again. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much all I got for today. Hope you enjoyed today's vlog. And if you did, be sure to rate it up. Give me a big thumbs up. Share the video. And if you're new, or, uh, new to our channel, 
We would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button. So thanks for joining today. And we'll see you again tomorrow at 2 a.m. Central Time. So have a great day. It's time to get going. It's time to move on. Put this behind me. That day is gonna come. I'm breaking the wall.